All right. Um, I wanted to actually put together this video because when you do the, lobby, the, the buggy lab, sorry, later this week, you're actually going to need to know a little bit about linear equations, and so I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. Now, this is going to be a very brief review. My purpose here is not to teach you Algebra 1. It's to review some things that you should already know. So if you find yourself having trouble doing the things in this video and understanding what's going on, um, you might consider at this point in the game, if you want to continue taking physics, getting yourself an outside tutor. Uh, the reason being that, you know, I've got 105 people that I need to help and the goal is to help them with physics and I really can't be of service to you if um, I'm spending lots of time reviewing algebra. So this is a quick review to refresh your memory on some things that you should already know. So um, we saw in the last video that the equation for line is given by y equals mx plus b and um, this is the slope, and of course this is the y-intercept. Um, and just to kind of give you an example, suppose I give you the equation y equals uh, 2x plus 1. What this means is when we use the term y-intercept, that means when x is 0, we actually cross right here at 1. That's what the y-intercept means. And um, you can actually prove that by putting in 0 for x, and um, then you get y equals 1, so the coordinate 0, 1 is on the line. And then for the slope, if you remember, um, another term for slope, uh, which I showed you in the last video, is rise over run. And of course what that means is that actually tells us um, how we count two graph lines. And here's what I mean by counting. I tell you the slope here is 2, so what that means is the rise is 2, and the run is 1, because 2 over 1 is 2, because rise equals 2 and run is 1. So what that means is that to actually graph this we would go over 1 and up 1, 2, over 1 and up 1, 2, like that. And so then we'd actually draw that line through the points. What I'd like is a straight line connecting these points, hopefully I could do that, um, and that's the line. Um, so obviously I didn't use a ruler to draw, but you would see like a nice straight line through those points. So that's what it means. So again, um, the slope, we actually use that to kind of graph, to, 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 to um, draw how slanted the line is. And then one is where it crosses the y-axis. That's the slope, and that's the y-intercept. Now there's a couple of other things you need to know. Suppose, for example, I want you to calculate the slope of a line from two points. So suppose you have two points on a line, um, say, I tell you that x1, y1 is um, 3, 2, and x2, y2, these are two points that are actually on a line, um, is say um, 6, um, 3. Okay, well then, to get the slope m, that's going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And in this case, we're actually going to take um, 3 minus 2 over 6 minus 3. And that actually ends up being 1 over 3, which is 1 third. Now, um, suppose we actually wanted to graph a line like that. Um, let's see if I can get a new page here. So, um, if we actually wanted to graph a line with a slope 1 third, and I'm actually uh, not going to graph this particular line here. Again, I'm going to use the amount of algebra that we actually need to do physics class, so we're not going to actually sit around and calculate the intercept, though we could very easily do that. Um, what we're going to do instead is I'm going to give you the example of what it is to, gra to graph a line that has a slope one-third. So um, what I'll do is I will actually um, copy this guy from here. Um, so we'll copy that. Hopefully this goes to the next page. Nice. And, um, so we have that. Let's get rid of this line here. Get rid of these dots. And so if I were to graph a line with a slope of one-third, um, and let's say the y-intercept is zero. So suppose I want to graph the line y equals one-third x. Um, and of course the y-intercept is zero, so you might be thinking it's y equals one-third x plus zero, but that's just the same thing. So I wanted to graph, graph y equals one-third x. Well, my intercept is here, my y-intercept is there, and uh, one-third x means that I actually go over 
So one third x means rise over run, right? Rise over run. So my rise is one and my run is three. So I go one, two, three, and then up one. One, two, three, and then up one, like that. So uh, I would actually then draw the line connecting those points. And that's how that works. Now, um, again, if you notice something, um, when I have a large like slope like this, say, suppose my slope, if you notice, if, if you compare these two lines, here I had a slope of two. Well, it's kind of messy. I had a slope of two. Here I had a slope of one third. And if you notice, the slope of two line looked like this, and the slope of one third line looked like that. So this is one third, and this is m equals two. That's actually going to be important for us later. Um, when we do the buggy lab, we're actually going to see that that has a real physical meaning. Um, <clears throat> another thing, um, and I'm just going to go into this qualitatively, is that if a line has a negative slope, um, it'll actually look like this. And let me show you what I mean. So suppose I graph a line like y equals negative x plus 1. So let's get these marks here. And again, my y-intercept is 1. So I start off here, and actually, you know what, let's make it negative, uh, negative x plus 4. So my y-intercept would be at 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. And then, because my rise is negative 1, and my run is 1, I'd actually go over 1 and down 1, over 1 and down 1, over 1 and down 1, etc. So then my line ends up looking like this. So that's my y-axis, and that's my x-axis. So these are all things that I'm kind of expecting you to know how to do. Another very important thing is um, the ability to actually find points on a line by eyeballing it and figuring out what this point is. So this is just a very, very, very brief review of some things that you need to do for lines. And um, I'll have you do some things in the Google Docs. And uh, you should actually be filling out some things in your notes right now. So you should be following along in your notes in the learning packet. And um, hopefully this will get you started on um, kind of jogging that memory on what to do with lines and linear graphs. And um, you'll be able to function a little bit better when you got to do the buggy lab uh, tomorrow.